What is Hashable? Why tuples instead of lists? Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics. And in today's video, we're gonna be really diving down into the guts of Python. So this was actually a really super awesome question that came through on the channel in the comments regarding last week's video. So as you can see here, I use tuples for the keys for the values in our scenario of tired and hungry. So if you were to replace this, these tuples with lists, you would get an error of hashable, you get this type error, ha unhashable type list. So let's begin to unpack this. So hashable. What is hashable? So if we pass in a list, actually, or a dictionary, so we're going to look at this. So we're going to get the exact same error. Type error means you cannot run the hash, the hash function. So let's then really dive deep into a list. So we're going to run help on list. And as you see here, the actual response is, so the hash, the hash function will return none. So you will throw an error. Then also hash on a dictionary, unhashable type dictionary. And then we run help on, I guess we can do that both ways and run this again and the same thing. So now we need to jump into why. So the dictionary and a list have two main characteristics. They can be moved around. A dictionary has a very high level where it is very fluid, where a list, as you know, you can reverse, you can, you can add, you can sort, you can do a variety of things. So it is mutable. So the characteristics to be hashable, to have hash be able to be run is it needs to be immutable. So then if we run this on a tuple, I get a hash value of this right here. So lists are mutable and dictionaries are mutable. Tuples are immutable. So in case you're hearing those words for the first time, a string is immutable. You can have a string as a key. So those are the main characteristics. If it is immutable, you can use it as a key. If it's mutable or you can change it, you cannot use that as a key in a dictionary. So this was a very, very good question. We've tiptoed around it. We've talked about it, but we have not explicitly said these words. So, and we've not really had a reason to talk about hash. So. Now we understand hashable, what it does, which objects are hashable, which objects are not, and the exact relationship is if it's immutable, it's hashable. If it's, if it's mutable, it's unhashable. So there we go. Awesome question. Thank you so much. I really can't say thank you enough. If you've not hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, let's go ahead and do that and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And probably most important is if you've not joined the Discord server, that is also down below in the description to jump over there. And we have really robust discussions and um, wonderful people over there to help out. But most important, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned and we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, Check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us and we hope to see you next time. Bye guys.